Good day, everyone. I have no idea if this is the same plant we hid behind in the end of the last episode, but it's the plant we're starting behind at the beginning of this one. So, what do you say, guys? It is finally time to take off. It's on this ship like we've been meaning to do for like three episodes now. We've actually been trying to gain passage on this ship for the better part of like five... Five. Actually, more like eight or ten episodes, I think. Sorry, sir. We got a little sidetracked. Yeah, a little. The preparations are complete. We sail immediately. Aye, aye, Captain. Way anchor. Anchors away. Way anchors away. Anchors away. Another voyage lies before us. My heart sings for the seas. Set sail. Aye, aye, aye. I always forget how much I love this music. Ah, it's proper exciting. This is. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, since when did they get along so good? Then the seven seas await. Unfurl the sails! Pardon our man! Indeed, that is pretty cool. One of the coolest ship acquisition cuts in- oh. Shadar, are you straggling? Huh. And he spoke so highly of himself. Fool, did he really think the Guardian of the Volcano could defeat the pure-hearted one? <laughs> I fear that executor may be a trifle toothless. <laughs> Perhaps he forgot his orders. Well, Shadar. What next? This time, I shall leave nothing to chance. This time, he will suffer by my own hand. <laughs> so, it has come to this at last. <laughs> and not before time. Your grace's silence, please. Very well, Shadar. I will grant you a new power. The power to summon the storm. You honor me, your radiance. This time, he will be destroyed. Do not fail me, Executor. Well, I don't know about the Executor, but Mrs. Tentacle Hair there has really got me messed up. Ha! The scent of the sea stirs my soul. Now, friends, do you know how to steer a ship? Yes, I do. But, just in case you don't, you can always read the dialogue here. But why would you want to do that when you got me here to tell you? It's really, it's more fun if you just kind of, you know, get your bearings and go from there. So you can now use the world map. Oh my gosh, remember when this... This is that moment that happens in every RPG when you just... When everything just opens up, and look at this. There is so much here, I don't even know where to start. Actually, I kind of... Actually, I kind of have a few ideas, but, um... I guess we should start with the most obvious thing, which would be... This little, uh, group of islands down here. Well, as far as that goes, we'll get to those in a minute. If you wanted to spring over here to the shipwreck shore... You can see there are random encounters in the ocean as well. And if you can sneak up on them, so much the better. They're running away from me, which means I'm probably over-leveled a little bit, but... <laughs> Stay calm now. A little sunset action going on here. The Kipper and I have that, too. Well, it's different. What do you mean? Well, he does the claw. The claw? Yeah, you know, it's like this... <laughs> running for your life. Yeah. The claw! The claw is gonna get you! Well, I can't quite do it as good as you guys, but you know. And I keep forgetting to put in my commands, oh my gosh. So you can see the monsters on the sea are a little bit tougher than what we're used to, but hey, we know that's good because we need to find, you know, something that's a little bit 
a little bit more of a challenge than we've been faced with in recent years. Or recent years or so, it would feel like. So 124 experience, that's definitely a step up from what we're used to. And thank goodness, too, because I tell you. So we're gonna jump off up here and search the ground over here by the sea, and we should have, uh... If I can find it. It should be around here somewhere. Let me actually... Hmm, well... I must admit, guys, I seem to have reached an impasse here. There's supposed to be a hidden treasure here, like an invisible treasure. But I'm not finding it, so I guess we're just gonna skip that one for now. And head a little further up the shore here. Now, like I said before, if you try to go out and explore the world, you're probably gonna end up regretting it, because a lot of the monsters that you fight... A lot of the monsters that you fight are gonna be... Uh, probably out of your range a little bit. Like, for instance, this guy. He's actually one of the hunts. So what I want to do is probably save my game here. Yes, I would. I also didn't mention it, but I bought a sickle at the Castaway Cove shop. So, if you want to be as prepared as I am... Go ahead and get yourself one as well. We'll need it for alchemy shortly here. No well, probably in another two episodes or so. So let's see what we can do about this guy. Okay, good. I got a weapon that's weak against him. That's good. He's doing some damage to me, but it's not too bad. It's three on one here. We should be able to handle this. Plus, he's missing. I can probably blind him with something or. Sandblast here. Did I blind him, or did I not do anything at all? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get our attack a little bit here. Okay, he's running out of strength here. Whoa, 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 easy. Let's get the camera back on him here. Woo, he's pretty strong against Lansoon. Let me, uh, try Yoshi for a little bit here. By a little drowsy drop. Would you go to sleep? Plus, I got the healing spell, so that's good. Most important, maybe we have a water bomb, which is gonna pull out some pretty decent damage itself. Yeah, I thought this fight was gonna be a lot worse than it's turning out to be so far, so. Yeah, we might wanna actually think about healing up a swain here. More importantly, healing up is familiar. Now yeah, we should be good to go. No, I don't think he can be blinded. Then again, he is made of stone. He doesn't seem to have any eyes anywhere. Probably should have refilled my um, character's MP before I went into this. There we go. It's done. It is finished. We did it. Yeah, nobody died there or anything, so that turned out to be pretty smooth. Let's see how much experience we get for that, though. 153, not too bad. Let's see, we got some more level ups here. Splish splash out, stick in bed. Oh, no, man, I can't even sing, man. Uh, Diary of Four. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep Diarrhea 4 around, because even though he does have, like... Like, I keep saying he has the highest magic in the game. The thing is, I'm not about, I'm not too familiar with his move set, And that's the thing that could really, like... You know, it's the same with Pokemon, you know? If, you could have the greatest Pokemon in the world, but if you don't... If you don't use their moves right, then it's just like... Who has... Oh, duh. I'm not even using the right... Words and right, and we're using the right button here. That yeah, should be good. Alright, so let's see what kind of monsters we got around here, anyway. Apparently, they're weak enough that we can sneak up on them. No slacking, you we got a Flummox Floret. Is that like Pollux Troy? Step out to see some of our old friends. There's a 
pebble falls again, you see that happening. You see the rock dropping on the monster's head. Just, uh, always watch for what damage that does, because you can see that's your pebble pelt spell. And it's probably gonna be pretty good, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, sounds like Swain just died. I just make that happen that soon. Oh, now Esther's dead. Whoa, okay. You know what? Let's back off for a second here. Uh, do I need to run? I let everybody down. Do I seriously... Oh my god. That didn't seem that bad at first. Wow, this is just gonna be one of those LPs where I'm destined to fail, I guess. See, in here I thought I had over-grinded. I'm telling you, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, I don't walk around with that much money anymore. Not since the old days, let me tell you. Well, that certainly was a colossal... Uh, disappointment, if nothing else. Came here thinking I could get some... You know, secret treasures, and then I couldn't even stick up to the monsters. Maybe if I'd stayed at the inn before I left. Because all my guys are out of MP. I think I'm going to run back and do that real quick. Okay, I'm, I'm real quick going to go over my weapon arrangements here and just make sure, because... Something doesn't seem right. Well, of course I never did find a helmet for this guy. There's literally nothing for him to equip. It's like... I'm not sure why they do that. You know, you'd think they would have... You know, with all the open slots here, you just think they would make more available. Considering it's the only shop, you know, that you have. It's like the latest shop. I mean, you're not going to go all the way back to Alma Moon. I mean, I guess maybe you should. See, this I never got for Pico. I'm not sure why. Should I? It's only three attack. And then again, I don't exactly like the look of my current gold situation. <laughs> so I guess we'll do that. But yeah, I mean, that's why... Yeah, that's why sometimes surviving in this game can be such a problem, is because you just can't get armor for anybody. It's like, it's so... Ugh. But hey, it is what it is. Didn't even occur to me just now, but I guess we've had a lot of cutscenes or something, because we're already up to... Ugh, 23 minutes here. Up to and including that death, it's just now, but... But alas, it is what it is. I was trying to get behind that plant, but I wasn't having much luck there. Let's try that again. This is a nice plant. Yeah. A little further out. A little further down. No, up. Right. No. You're a little further, like... Eh, no, no, that was good. That was good there just now. Right there. Okay. Next time on Nino Cooney. Uh, I think we'll take a second shot at that, that beach shore. Because I know we can handle ourselves there. I just... I guess I just wasn't prepared. Like I said, I was out of MP on my partners. That's probably why. So, yeah. See you guys later.